this is going to be real interesting area that's your pn junction diode so once uh, we have seen uh, you know last videos about the p type and we have seen also seen like uh, the, about the n type and this is different because we are going to merge your p with n we got our p n junction diode so here is your p n junction diode this is how it will work let's see so if one side of a single crystal of pure semiconductor germanium and it's doped with the acceptor impurity atoms and the other side is doped with the donor impurity atoms you can see the doped with acceptor impurity atoms and donor impurity atoms so it we got a pn junction p region will be having a high concentration of holes positive and n region will be having a large number of electrons as soon as the junction is formed free electrons and holes cross through the junction by the process of diffusion so this region they called it as a depletion region during the process the electrons crossing the junction from n region towards the p region recombine with the holes in the p region very close to the junction similarly holes crossing the junction from the p region into the n region recombine with the electrons very close to the junction this is the junction thus your region is formed which does not have any mobile charges very close to the junction this region is called depletion region in this region on the left side of the junction the acceptor atoms become negative ions on the right side of the junction the donor atoms become positive ions an electric field is set up in between the donor and acceptor ions in the depletion region you can see an electric field is set similarly holes in the p side find themselves at a very low potential and are prevented to cross to the n side thus there is a barrier at the junction which opposes the movement of the majority charge carriers the difference of potential from one side of the barrier to the other side is referred to as potential barrier the potential barrier is approximately 0.7 volt for a silicon and 0.3 volt for germanium the distance between from one side of the barrier to the other side is called the width of the barrier which depends upon the nature of the material